Hello my lovelies and welcome back to the Love Notions channel. I'm Alex from my creative room. You can find me here on YouTube and I am taking over. Today I am here as an ambassador for Love Notions to talk to you about my all-time favorite cardigan from the Love Notions pattern gallery. It is the Canyon cardigan and we'll be uh, going into details today in this video about uh, the sizes included, the options included, which fabrics were great for the patterns, um, any tips that I have to give you when it comes to sewing it, and we'll finish the videos with um, my favorite ways to make it a uh, closed cardigan, to add closure to the actual cardigan. So I am super excited to share to you uh, all my knowledge about the Love Notions uh, Canyon cardigan. So definitely keep on watching. The Love Notions Canyon Cardigan is actually today's Feature Friday. And if you're familiar with the um, Love Notions Feature Friday, you know that this, that is a steal of a deal. You are basically getting the pattern more than half off on a Friday. If you're not familiar with the Feature Friday, I, I can tell you that almost every Friday of every week, Love Notions puts one of their patterns on sale for just $5, $5. The regular patterns are $12.50. So you're definitely getting a great bang for your buck on a Feature Friday. So do sign up for Love Notions. Um, uh, newsletter because you will be uh, in the know with the Love Notions Feature Friday through the Facebook group that will be linked in the description of the video below, but also through the Love Notions newsletter. So definitely sign up for that. Get this pattern because it is a staple for your wardrobe. It is. Uh, we are in the cardigan season, right? Well, I know some of us are probably moved into winter already but a lot of us are still using cardigans for layering purposes plus spring is right around the corner it may not feel that way today for a lot of us a lot of you not me it's hot here in florida it may not feel that way right now but spring is coming and this uh, cardigan is definitely an amazing layering piece for your favorite dresses tanks tops uh, and so on so do grab it today so you save yourself a little bit of money now that we got that part of the way, you already went, you can pause the video, that's fine, I can wait, and then get your pattern and come back and we can discuss all the details about it. And I'm going to start first with the sizes included in the pattern. The Canyon Cardigans comes in sizes ranging from extra small through 3XL, full bust from 33 inches to 49.5 inches, and for hip, it ranges from 33.5 inches all the way to 51.5. This is again extra small through XXXL. I do have some good news. I have, uh, we have discussed this in the ambassador chat and I know that, I don't know if it's a secret or not. So if you're Tammy or Tessa, you can look away, but I'm joking. Um, you can uh, expect the Canyon Cardigan to get an update to include sizes all the way to 5X in 2023. So it is coming. Even if you don't uh, fit, your measurements don't uh, go in the Love Notion size chart as it is today, if you want to take advantage of the Feature Friday, so grab the pattern for a steal, it is the update is coming so when the update does release in 2023 probably around the fall time um, you will get to download the updated uh, pattern with the extra sizes at no charge obviously it will be free so you got your pattern at a steal today the canyon cardigan as it is with all of notions patterns is drafted for a five uh, five frame so if you are taller or shorter than that, fear not, the instructions for the lengthening or shortening of the uh, cardigan are included in the pattern itself. So you do get help 
from the actual pattern but as always you do get help all the time along the way from the love notion support team and the wonderful facebook group that it's packed with very talented sewers and very helpful so if you ever have any questions regarding this pattern or any other ones definitely join the love notions group on facebook and uh, you will get there not just inspiration for your cardigans and all your projects but also a bunch of helpful friends to hold your hand along the way the canyon cardigan pattern comes in um, various uh, formats so when you do download your pattern you will have a letter format and um, a4 format for our international friends you'll also have an a0 format which is the one you take to a copy shop uh, to print in on big papers the the one yard papers or if you're lucky to have a plotter at home you can definitely print it at home um, but it also includes my way of sewing which is using a projector so sewing with a projector definitely makes this a very fast sew at least in my opinion let's talk about the fabrics that are uh, going to work amazingly for the canyon cardigan it is a pattern that is drafted for knit fabric so do not and i, I insist here do not use woven for your canyon cardigans even though it's an open cardigan, there is no closures, there is no buttons, no zippers, no ties, no anything. It's, it's an open cardigan. You might be fooled in thinking, oh, I'll just use woven because I don't have to close it. No, there is an ease for the sleeves that I'm thinking it might be close to zero, probably not quite zero, and it's not negative ease for sure, but uh, you want to be able to wear it and move in it and stretch in it so do not use woven for it plenty of beautiful knit options out there it is drafted for lightweight knit for knit with great drape for knit that's soft and um, flowy so i would highly recommend using rayon spandex for it i do have an option that i did in testing this is when it first released this is a rayon spandex i believe this was from joanne like just rayon spandex works beautifully with it my favorite by far and you already know that is bamboo spandex so definitely bamboo spandex works beautifully for the canyon cardigan my favorite for for sure other uh, needs that you can use are poly blend needs. You could use a waffle knit if uh, it's not too heavy weighted because those vary from uh, source to source. I would also uh, think a double brush poly was great. If you, if you like the feel of double brush poly, this would work great for this. So we are looking in the realm of flowy drapey needs. You know how to check the drape i've already shown you that i do we do have a post in love notions from a few years back where uh the ambassador team chose their favorite um fabrics to talk about and in that post uh i actually talk about bamboo shocker <laughs> uh, but we i also tell you how to check for the drape of the bamboo so uh or any neat fabrics just hold the fabric like this from the center and see when it falls if it makes a lot of folds or if it makes just two three folds that's a stable knit and you do not want that you don't want a stable knit like um scuba or a ponty for the canyon cardigan there's other cardigans that would work great for that but not this one you want something that flows and hugs to your body without being clingy a stable knit would tend to be more clingy because it would feel smaller than it actually is so i think i've convinced you that you do need a knit fabric and you do need a fabric with drape this is an excellent beginner pro uh, project so if you're just starting your sewing adventure and you feel confident in your abilities and you should what's the worst that can happen you use a seam reaper it is not that serious so you should feel confident so grab 
uh, the Love Notions cardigan and create yourself the simplest of options. And you'll see that it is not difficult. And speaking of options, let's go ahead and chat about the plethora of options included in the Canyon cardigan pattern. There are three different skirt options. So the bodice is the same and then you change the skirt option. And you can either do a simple A-line skirt, you can do a beautiful gathered skirt, or you can do a fun um, waterfall option. So let me show you. This is a simple A-line option. So it is basically uh, fitted through the bust and under bust, and then it, um, the skirt it has a beautiful A-line making it stay, um, be very loose on your hips, which is great and super comfortable. So this is A-line skirt. It does feature a beautiful pleat on the back, here, on the back, like center back, it has a beautiful pleat. I did color block this just for personal preference, but it is not color block the bottom. Then you have your gathered option, which is amazing for when you wear a dress. I like it with fuller dresses. Let me just put it on. I know the prints will be clashing, but you can, you can see it on right now. So this is the gathered option, as you can see. It features the same skirt as A-line, but fuller, and it will uh, be gathered throughout. So that's one reason why I highly encourage using fabric with great drape like bamboo uh, uh, spandex. Because when you put those gathers, you want them to lay and flow nicely, as opposed to uh, bunching out. You can use bamboo, French terry, if you want like a cozier um, feel to it, like a little uh, warmer, bamboo French terry would work as well, but it will give you, because it's more stable knit, it will give you a stiffer look. So I would encourage to use bamboo French terry only for the A-line option, not for the gather, not for the waterfall, because you want that flowiness. And speaking of waterfall, this is a uh, waterfall option and this one that I did in testing. This is a simple rayon spandex, this is a bamboo spandex. And it has this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous front that's uh, origami into a waterfall. You see, it when, it when you wear it, let me just put it on. It's uh, longer, it has like two longer pieces in the front. I probably should have worn a solid dress for the, the video, but hey, you rarely find solid outfits in my wardrobe. So this is a waterfall option. As you can see, it has that pointy corner on both sides, making it super fun and super easy and amazing. Again, this is also bamboo. And as a matter of fact, I did have a sew along for the Canyon cardigan not too long ago on my channel, my creative room. I'll link it in the description below. So you can see the making of this exact cardigan in the sew along. I take you through the steps of the project step by step. So uh, definitely check that out if you would like to sew one along with me. So this is the um, option for waterfall and since I've tried all of them on, let me show you the simple option as well. I might as well, right? So waterfall, gathered and A-line. This A-line is color block. Again, this is something that I did to the pattern. The, the color blocking is not included in the tutorial. Also bamboo. So all of these, except for the gray one, uh, are bamboo spandex. So they, you can see the fit on all of them. See? This is A-line. Pew! 
beautiful. I love it. Super simple and super fast. This is quite a fast, so especially the A-line, because there's not a lot of extra steps included if you're doing the A-line or the waterfall. The gathered option does have the steps of gathering the skirt, but overall, it's a great beginner-friendly project. Uh, the back, I wanted to mention, if, you, if you've made the canyon cardigan before, you already know that, but if you have not, the back features, uh, the back of the bodice, it is not cut on fold, which is amazing because it will allow you to have a flushed back on, uh, like, when you wear it. It's uh, like a built-in um, sway back adjustment. If you need to blend sizes, go in the Facebook group. We're here to help. We are uh, here for you. Now that we've discussed the skirt options of the Canyon Cardigan, let's talk about the sleeves. I did make uh, myself both three-quarter sleeve and long sleeve. There is an extra option included, which I haven't made yet. I don't know why, honestly. It just it never dawned on me that I need it, but it's available for anyone that does. It's a vest option, so it includes the, the, the sleeveless option of the cardigan. For anyone who loves wearing vests and layering with a vest on top, that option is included in the pattern. So you have, like I said, your three-quarter sleeve, which is this one. I do like a three-quarter sleeve. It's usually hot in Florida, but sometimes you need that layering piece. So three-quarter is kind of like this. And I do like to wear mine like so. Very cute, right? And then for extra coziness and extra warmth, you have the long sleeve option. I was just thinking that I've done roundups before, but I can't really change them on camera because I think I've done dresses before, which makes it very impractical to change on camera. But now that I'm doing a roundup of a cardigan, I absolutely love that I can show them to you real time. I will also insert some photos here that I've taken of the patterns before. Uh, just to have them, but uh, it's nice to be able to actually show them to you on camera and model them for you <laughs> like this. So this is uh, the A-line option with long sleeves. So those long sleeves are plenty long. Not a lot of adjustments needed to be done with those. I love them. I love myself a long sleeve. And of course you can always wear it. Because you're using a neat fabric with great stretch and great recovery, you can also pull your sleeves up and wear it like this. Absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite things about the cardigan is the fact that it has pockets. It has pockets. And it has cute, cute pockets that are not built into a side seam because one, there's no side seam of the skirt. It's only a back seam. But these are so much nicer. I absolutely adore these pockets. They're pockets in front. So super cozy, super warm. Here is what they look from the back. I absolutely love them. And again, in my sew along on my channel that I did for the Canyon pattern, uh, you will be able to see um, how I've um, added the pockets. Here you, go. Look. you can see it better because I've used contrasting thread. So you can see. Isn't it cute when you mix and match prints? Because this is color blocked and these are the same print like the one I'm wearing right now. But this one, I've actually used one print for the bodice and a different print for the skirt. So it's really cute for mixing and matching prints. And it, this is the pocket that comes with the pattern. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Another thing that I have not added hmm, to 
any of my canyons, just personal preference is the elbow patch. I feel like uh, when I use bamboo, I do like to do this a lot. So having an elbow patch would not work for me, like pulling my sleeves up. As you can see, that's how I like to wear my cardigan. So I do not add it, but for all of you elbow patch pans out there, the pattern does include the option to add the elbow patch to the sleeve and a tutorial how to do that. Super easy, super fun. And again, another way to add an accent of your favorite color to, to the cardigan. Before we get into the last portion of this uh, video, I wanted to give you three uh, top three of my tips for you when you sew the Love Notion cardigan. One would be to add clear elastic in the seam, especially if you use bamboo because it's heavy and it will uh, make the cardigan longer than it's meant to be because it's stretching. It does have vertical stretch as well. So do tip one, do add um, clear elastic in the shoulder seam. Tip two, do not skip the interfacing on the pocket. You can see it here better because it's black. I used here. I used three cut interfacing because it's uh, still stretchy, but it does give you a good good hold for the pocket. I know you won't be carrying rocks in your pockets, but cell phones these days have become big and heavy. So while you may not be carrying rocks in your pocket you might be putting a big cell phone in this pocket. So you don't want it stretching all the way to your knees, right? And if you do know you're going to carry heavy things, uh, I recommend maybe doing the pocket out of a uh, more stable knit than bamboo. Mine are bamboo and as you can see, it does hang because this one is just proof that you should do what I say, not what I do. I did not add the interfacing to this one, so because uh, I was in a rush and regretted it afterwards. But see, you do want to add the interfacing to hold better and maybe use a more stable knit if you plan on carrying heavy things. This is a Pro Max phone, so it is the biggest one and it is heavy, but just so you have an idea how it looks. Don't over <laughs> uh, fill your pockets. So that's tip number two. And tip number three is use the sewing machine when instructed in the pattern. I know a lot of us vets when it comes to sewing, myself included, love to use the serger for everything. If we could use just only a serger, we would. However, there's parts of the uh, pattern that will look much, much better like the pockets part or um, if you want to press your seam opens on the back when you sew the back stitch, uh, the back center back. Do use a sewing machine with a stretch stitch if you want uh, the most professional finished look of all. If you're in a hurry and you don't mind, you can do this option that I did on this one, which is practically just searched. But my tip would be to use your sewing machine when instructed in the pattern, instead of replacing it with a serger. I hope you found this helpful, but I'm not done yet. As I promised at the beginning of the video, I do want to give you five ways of um, make, transforming this open, because you can see all the styles are open front. There is no closures included in the pattern, but I do want to give you five super quick, super easy, fast um, ways of um, adding closure to your canyon cardigans. Some permanent, some just temporary. So let's talk transforming our canyon cardigans from an open um, cardigan to a closed cardigan in a few simple steps. So I'm going to give you five of my favorite ways. I'm sure there's many, many more that you could use. And if you do have any fun, super cute ideas, definitely leave them in the comments below of this video or share them on the Facebook group. We would love to inspire one another and we do love to inspire each other here at Love Notions. So uh, my first 
and I'm going to start with this method of creating a closure for the cardigan. It's the, the method that uses no extra notions. So just fabric, just the fabric that you have on hand, fabric that you use for the cardigan. And you will be creating ties. Super easy. And you might have noticed, I didn't say anything, but you might have noticed when I tried this cardigan on before, that there is something extra there that wasn't there before. <laughs> I'm, I'm quoting Beauty and the Beast right now, in case you didn't know how much of a big Disney nerd I am. <laughs> so, you might have noticed that this cardigan has two ties here. When I want to wear my cardigan open, I simply tie them in individual bows and they just stay here. Now, when I want to close this cardigan, and you might have seen, and I'm going to put some photos here, you might have seen me wear it with the um, front closed. I have, well, first I iron this, and then I just simply tie them together to add these ties. And again, you can create your ties however you like, whatever is your preference. These were strips of fabric. As you can see, I've used the same fabric for my ties as I did for my mane. So I cut two strips of six inch wide, so super easy, by 22 inches long. Two of those, cut two of those strips, fold them in half, wrong sides together, stitch them close on one short end and the other one, and then turn them over. So this is how you've created two ties. Simple. And you will have these long ties. So if you use 22 inches. If you prefer, let's say you have a preference for a shorter tie, just cut it at 12 inches. Not a big deal. Like I'm trying to mimic what a short tie would be. Because not everyone likes to have those long tie ends. So if you do, let's say, just 12 inches, it would look something like this. So you can just tie it and you won't have those long ends falling down. And you can make yourself like a little, little bow when you tie it. So the world is your oyster. You can create your ties in whichever shape or form. You can get creative instead of cutting the end straight like I did on this one, you can do an angle cut and it will look like a bow, like the ending of a bow when you tie it together. So you can absolutely get creative with it. If you like to add ties to your canyon cardigans, like I did here, you have to decide which placement you want to put them in before you finish your cardigan. For the other methods of closing your cardigan, you can do everything at the end. Right at the end, it doesn't matter. But for this one, you want to decide before you finish the cardigan where you're going to be placing them. So I placed mine right here at the uh, seam where the bodies where the bodies meets the skirt. This is where I place my tie. It's kind of like at my uh, natural waist because that's where the seam is in between the bodies and the skirt. So if you want the tie at your natural waist, that's when you place it. And you will be placing and pinning this tie uh, in place before you add your collar. So super easy. It's just an extra layer there. You add your collar, you baste your strap on the bodies, on the actual cardigan, and then you simply add your color as instructed in the pattern. It is super, super easy. But that's where I placed mine. So as you can see, it's placed in between the color and the main bodies, like so, at the waist, at my natural waist. If you prefer a tie that's more under bust, you can definitely mark it on your pattern piece just make sure that you double check that they're marked in the same way. You don't want one tie to be here and one tie to be here. Okay, you want to make sure they're placed in the same spot. So what I do encourage you to do before, so you construct your cardigan as per the pattern and you leave the last step of adding the um, band, the neck band for last. So before you do that, put your cardigan on 
and then you can just mark where you would like the tie. If you don't want it at the natural waist, you want it more under bust, just mark here and here with a pin or a clip where you want your ties and baste them in place right there. So definitely try it on and then add the, the um, neckband. Super easy. But if you do want it at your uh, natural waist, then you can just use the guide from the seam between your bodice and your skirt as a guide. It is up to you. That's why we sew, right? We sew so we can create custom work fit to our preferences and our body size and body type. So this is, I'm just coming here for ideas, to share my ideas with you, but you can take my ideas and run with them and make them your own, your pre preferred ways. So this is number one, my method of adding a closure to my can canyon cardigan. And this is with a tie, in my case a long tie, but like I said, you can use a short tie. Let's move on to second way of adding a closure to your can canyon cardigan. For the second option, I, I will be grabbing my gathered cardigan and ta-da, it magically got a closure. The beauty of pre-recorded videos. Let me show you this cute, cute closure that you can add. Super easy. And like I said, everything that I'm showing you from this point on is um, steps that you will add at the end. So once you've sewn the pattern, you finish it, that's when you add this. So you can actually customize the location, like I said, to your body and your preference. This is a three-quarter sleeve option with a gather skirt. So for this one, I went ahead and purchased from Amazon, but I'm sure you can find them in other places. And I will put photos of uh, the product in, uh, in editing so you can see it closer and better. So I went ahead and bought this leather, they're not leather, they're like faux leather vinyl closures that you can get in a pack of four that all you have to do is stitch them on. And they're definitely not leather. They're very thin and very um, uh, easy to sew on. on. On my domestic machine, you don't need anything because they're not actually real leather. They're not stiff. They're uh, pretty soft and pretty light. It's a cute faux leather, a cute vinyl. And again, I went this time, instead of doing uh, the closure at my natural waist, but again, it comes in a pack of four. So if you want more than one, you can add up to four in this pack. So you can close it all the way. I just wanted one. So for this one, I went ahead and did my closure under the bust, just for a different look instead of uh, the natural waist. And you can see here that I simply used a little bit of double-sided tape to stick them on the uh, cardigan and then I sewed around with my regular sewing machine a straight stitch obviously you don't need a stretch stitch so a straight stitch I do recommend using uh, three uh, length because it's vinyl and uh, a shorter stitch length will make it not look so good so you want to use a 3 or a 3.5 stitch length when you sew this uh, thin vinyl piece to your fabric. If um, you are a planner and you're going, you know for sure you're going to add this and you know for sure your location when you're going to add them, you can add a little piece of uh, stabilizer uh, on the back uh, in the, if you're adding this to your um, band, you can add a little piece of stabilizer in the band. Now, it's not mandatory in this case because I'm not putting any weight on it. I'm not pushing, I'm not pulling, I'm not tugging at it. It's not like a bag that you're gonna wear it a lot. And it's just to give me a, a cute fancy closure. So I'm okay with skipping the stabilizer right now because there's no, um, I'm going to open it to take it off, I'm not gonna pull it over my head. So while stabilizer is encouraged every time you add vinyl or anything like leather like to your garments, you can get away without adding it on this in this case. And if you still want to wear your cardigans open, 
like her intended you can do so again this is super lightweight it looked very heavy in the photo that's why i wanted to test it out for you before i filmed uh, and order it i have not ordered everything that i'm going to talk about but this one i did because i wanted to make sure that it is not heavy it looked like heavy leather for belts but it is really not it's super thin and super lightweight which is perfect to go with a bamboo cardigan and i do believe it comes in other colors as well just wanted a neutral black one with kind of like a gunmetal finish on the metal. So super, super, super cute. Ta-da! This is the second closure. Let's move on to the third option. For my third option, I'm going to talk to you about frog closures. If you're not familiar with them, these are closures that you can put on vests, on coats, and it would definitely work for the Canyon cardigan. I have not purchased one because it's not my style. It's not my style look-wise. It's not my style uh, from the point of view of how it will be sewn on, the, on uh, the cardigan. So I did not purchase one. It would have been just wasteful. But I did snap some photos. Uh, so I'm going to put them here in the video so you can see various options and various styles of frog closures. The photos that I have are from Joanne but you can find them on Amazon or in very, on Etsy, I've seen some cute ones. So just Google frog closures and you'll have a plethora of options to choose from. So these are uh, closures made from pretty much knots. It's um, a knot that is basically looped through uh, another side. So one side has a knot that's pre-knotted and the other side has a hole, a loop, and to close it, you just loop the knot through, which means it can stay on, it may not stay on all the time, that's why it's not a preferred one, but it's definitely a cute looking one. So, um, and it's easy to add quite a few of them if you want more than just one closure on your Canyon cardigan. So if you go with the smaller sizes, because there's like some big frog closures ones I've seen in store, or some smaller ones, if you want, um, to add more than one, I would highly encourage you to get a smaller size frog closure. This way you can add two, three, five, however many you want. If you want just one big statement piece, I would get a, a larger one. And again, just like I did before with the leather, leather closure ones, you can um, stitch them wherever you prefer, whether it's at the bust, under the bust, at the natural waist, wherever is your preferred spot for closing your cardigan. The reason why it's not my preferred closure style out of the five that I'm mentioning right now is because um, you have to hand stitch it. <laughs> Don't throw things at me, please. I do not like to hand stitch anything. I, I really not. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I would surge everything if I could in this life. But the last thing on my list is hand stitching. So if I can avoid it, I will, which means I'm going to use a different closure method. But if you don't mind hand stitching and you love the look of a um, frog closure, definitely that's the option for you. You would have to mark your placement, just like I said, mentioned before, and simply hand stitch. Because as you can see, there's like on both sides, there's like loops that you will need to stitch on the vest or on the cardigan or wherever you're adding them. So put something cute on TV, find the matching thread and get to work if you like that. But it's nice, it's lightweight, it's a great option if you don't mind hand stitching and you like the look because not everyone will like the look of a frog closure. And again, it could be a conversation starter because it looks so interesting. The fourth method of adding a closure to your canyon cardigan and we shall call that the obvious method is to use buttons one button three buttons four buttons however but many buttons you'd like i again prefer one closure right under my bust so that's just my preferred style but don't don't switch the video quite yet i know you heard buttons oh my god this woman is crazy she's going to make me sew buttonholes no 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 we're not about that life here <laughs> we're not going to sew buttonholes we're going to just use a button and we're going to make a um, loop from let's say rick rack like i used or from a um, quarter of an inch wide ribbon we'll just make a loop for a closure of the button and stitch it on super easy so let me show you for this one 
I went ahead, tried it on, marked my placement for the button and for the loop, because like I said, no button holes required. In my case, it's a little bit under the bus. And I have cut a piece of Greek rack ribbon. You see right here, a Greek rack ribbon. You can use a regular one, but I just had this one and I wanted to use this one. And then I chose a cute button and just stitch them on. Super easy, right? You just stitch on the button with your machine if you have a button um, foot or by hand it's just one button. You can do that. And then on the other side, I um, sealed the ends of the ribbon. Most ribbons are polyester and I do encourage you to use polyester ribbon. But the majority of them are polyester, so uh, it's not like you have to look, dig very deep to find one. Seal the ends, this way they will not fray. Just use a lighter and seal your ends. Fold it in half and then um, stitch it down exactly where uh, you have your marking so it's on the same side. So you don't have a button here and a, a loop here. So they're on the same sides, um, equally placed. Stitch it down a few rows of stitches. Don't be excessive because you're stitching through neat. And again, it's just to hold your cardigan in place. You're not pulling on it. You don't plan on pulling on it. So a few rows of stitches would, would suffice. If you do that on one side, stitch your button on the other one. And now you have a closure for your cardigan. And I did place mine, you can see, halfway on the width of the uh, band. This way when I fold them, when I close them, the band will like butt together here. But again, personal preference. If you want to stitch them closer to the uh, inside of the band, that's fine too. If you want closer to the outside, it just depends on how big the opening you want. So I put it halfway through on the band. Simply one button, because the rest will just fall itself. If I, if I close this part, the rest will pretty much uh, stay close just from the way the pattern is drafted. This is again the long sleeve bamboo spandex. It's the waterfall option that now has a pretty, pretty closure. Right? Super easy. Buttons. First thing that we think about when we talk about closures is buttons. But we also then say, oh, 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 oh no, no, because I don't want to do buttonholes. Trust me, I don't want to do buttonholes in bamboo either. I can. But I don't want to, so use a little bit of ribbon, create a loop right on top, done. Closure is done. Super easy and super beginner friendly. But wait, for my fifth option, that one is the most beginner friendly because it involves nothing. It involves no extra work, it involves clicking add to cart. That is all it takes to get the final uh, closure style that I wanted to show you. Add to cart. That is it. No stitching, no sewing, no nothing. Just add to cart. Stick around. So what is this uh, no sew, just add to cart option? Well, I've, uh, in looking for various options for closures throughout time, I've discovered a closure on Amazon. I'm sure it's sold somewhere else, but that's where I saw it. That's where I found it that you don't even have to sew it. So you can add this to any cardigan, remove it before you wash the cardigan, and simply clip it on. This is one of the styles. As you can see, it comes with a little uh, clip. You just clip it on. So if today I want it under the bust and tomorrow I want the closure of the waist, I can do that. There is no sew. See? So on the other side, you just clip it on and then you hook it up. And that is it. And it comes in a lot of different styles, in a lot of different... Um, options it is absolutely gorgeous i love 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 it
this is one of the styles I'll post pictures here in the video of the other styles that are included in the pack but here is a different one. Oh, and I got this in a rainbow finish because rainbow, I love it. But you can get them in various finishes. So if you're looking to add closure to your uh, Canyon cardigan, but you don't want to commit fully to it, you can simply purchase this. I believe these were $10 for a pack of four. So $2.50 basically each. And you can use these closures well, obviously one is a little crooked, but hey, I can just move it a little bit and done. You can use these closures for any and all cardigans. How awesome is this? I absolutely love it. And again, if you want to add more, you can add more throughout. And no commitment, no sewing, no fuss. Super easy and super, super um affordable if you ask me it's simply i'm sure you can if you dig deep enough on various storefronts you might find them individually listed but i, I like the pack of four because i honestly i just fell from for the rainbow finish of this and this will go on a lot of my outfits and i love that i can take them off when i when i wash my uh, clothes so just to remove them by unclipping and there is it you can use this for like a um, shawl or if you have like a perf preferred scarf they would work great with but mainly for closure for your cardigans and vests thank you so much for joining me today thank you so much for allowing me to take over the love notion channel for this amazing feature friday i will leave you with all the links you need in the description below remember Canyon cardigan only five dollar today regular price 1250 so an amazing deal I do appreciate you being here and watching me today I can't wait to see what your next Canyon cardigan will look like I'll talk to you in the next one bye